Not everything, but in the end. After you, I don't sir. In absolutes, just shades of gray. Compromises. Compromises. Well, I have never been a man for compromising. I fear at my age. Uh, gentlemen. Dutch, Nepo. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold, my good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen. Drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago, bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the Dutch Vanderlyn finishing school has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. Vanderlyn! Get out here! Get out what here the now! Hell? You don't know me, but you keep robbing me. My name is Leviticus Cornwall. I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you. Get out here before I have these men killed. What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash. You start spinning a yarn. When I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. I got where I am by letting Scott Mark you rob from me? Vandalin, you're done. Now get out here now. Deal with this nonsense. Help me out here. Come on, please. I'm about done here. If I don't get these shack it's all soon, I'm a goner. Please. Waited to hear that noise for so long. Yeah, I bet. I, I wish I could give you some money or, well, you know, I might have something of interest. Some fat f feller and his wife had a pig farm uh, northeast of Rhodes, near the border with Roanoke. Word is he's got piles of money. You sure I'm the right person for this sort of information? I ain't saying nothing. Do with it what you will.
Easy now. Did the university send you? Because if they did, they can get lost. <laughs> I have never been so insulted in all my life. Really, laughed at. Balderdash. Are you quite certain you're not a spy? Those wretches will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct, and I can prove it. I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> You're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Are they real? Of course they're real, you nincompoop. And everywhere. Everywhere? This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. I call it Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> um, I'm trying to gather all the evidence. Miss Deborah McGinnis? Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <clears throat> Listen. If you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Sure. Why not? And we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. Good day to you, sir! Time to go, boy. Give a fella a nickel. Give me a dime. Give me something. Hey, brother. I'm too old to get a job, mister. Way too old. Can't we be friends? <sighs> sure. I'm so happy. I ain't had a friend in a long time. Long, long time. My last friend died. Weren't my fault. They said it was, but they was wrong. It's fun being with you, mister. Can I hold you a second, mister? Can I? Get lost! I'm sorry, mister. I'll see you again. I guess. Watch it now. Morning, friend. <clears throat> Good morning, partner. Hey, now. Get moving. Same chores, different day. I'm sure you know how it is.
So, feeling better? How's the scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about and you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? <laughs> Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting, that might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. Come along. You'll see. That train job was a start, but we need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you. If we try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. Dutch says that we... Dutch says a lot. That's his gift. Saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was a prize pony once. Now I'm the workhorse. Listen, Dutch is... But... But, well... You was at that thing in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkerton's here. New century's coming. This life, this way... Well... We're the last, I reckon. And we ain't long for it. Then that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. All right. So where are we going? Just need to pick up something. You take care. There's a hitching post over there. Tether the horse and I'll meet you across the street. Hello? Uh, I already don't like how this is going. Gun store? Yep. Can you, uh, head in, pick up a sniper rifle? I'll explain later. Don't you wear yourself out now. Oh, well, hello again. How can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a sight on it. Shouldn't be a problem. You want to see what we've got? It's all in the catalog here. Why couldn't you have done that? Done what? Bought that gun. I had a run in with that fella earlier. We ain't on the best of terms. You had a run in? I've had a run in with half that town. Calm down. It's done now, ain't it? Why are you being so cagey about all this? Always playing some goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No, you ain't. If you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once, that's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that girl... What was her name? Mary? That was different. No, it ain't. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Ranch. Folk in town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Yeah, I know that place. Up 
So I'm thinking that the herd will make it to auction all right, but a couple of new ranch hands will be collecting on the sale. Doubt the town will care to notice too much. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. Let's see what we can see from up here. Okay, I think that's them over there. So what now? Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only ranch hands. Just watch the sheep. Looks like one of them don't scare too easy. Put another shot in close. He'll get the message. Yep, that spooked him all right. All right, let's go round him up. Come on, let's get down there. Let's go get the strays. You ever work on a ranch, Marston? No. You? Oh, day here or there, but not much. Most cowboys I know are dumb as trees. How hard could it be? I guess we'll soon find out. Let's get these things. Bring them back to the yards. Scattered. Let's get them all rounded up. Yep. <laughs> Christ, you're annoying. Okay, then. All right, I think we got them all. Let's head to town. You know what? Marston, why don't you leave the sheep to me? You ride Shank. Keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. It'll be quicker this way. Trust me. This ain't the right time for you to be learning how to hurt. All right, whatever you say. I'm done arguing. Quickest route back to Valentine is right around that mountain. Okay. Like I said, I'll handle this. Hold on now. That's it! There we go.
Close her up, boys. There you go. Fine sheep. They're okay. Well, you seem better around here? I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you for 25 percent. Do you want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25 percent. 15. 20. 18. Done. Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as I'm buying your sins. Uh, you're buying, but we're paying. Go on now. Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. He is? Eighteen percent. I thought we was doing the robbing here. Still good money. Well, thanks for all the help with this. Can't herd, can't swim. Give it a rest, will you? We ain't kids no more. No, we never really was. Not everything, but in the end, After you, I don't sir. believe in absolutes, just shades of gray. Compromises. Compromises. Well, I have never been a man for compromises, and I fear at my age. Uh, gentlemen. Dutch, Nepo, where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold, my good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen? Drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago, bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the Dutch Vanderlyn finishing school has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. Vanderlyn! Get out here! Get out of what here now! Vanderlyn! You don't know me, but you keep robbing me! My name is Leviticus Cornwall. I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you! Get out here before I have these men killed! What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash! You start spinning the yarn, and when I think the moment's you right, I'll make a I move. You think I got where I am by letting Scott like you rob from me? Vandalin, you're done! Now get out here now! Deal with this nonsense. Please, gentlemen. This is a terrible mistake. This is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another? Who wants to be the Messiah? Not me, nor do I want to be this Dutch
John's horse, and let's get out of here. You make sure nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. Ugh. Sure, we can't stick around after this. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah. 